About once a month, I like to go to the big box shops to see what kind of plants they have in stock. So I check out like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. And I went to Lowe's and Home Depot the other day and I gave myself a budget of $20. And you'd be surprised what you can get for $20 from one of these shops. And I definitely had a haul, which I will share at the end of the video. A lot of these big box shops are really showing up with the amazing, amazing plants that they have in stock. So it's been very exciting. And that's why I like to go at least once a month just just to see what I can find. I have over 250 houseplants, and so giving myself a budget of $20 is really helpful, and it's kind of fun to see what I can find. And this trip was amazing, so I'm excited to share the different plants. And if you like planty stuff, subscribe, so future planty videos show up in your newsfeed. I do post about once or twice a week. And we also have a great community on Instagram and TikTok. Now, a huge thank you to stamps.com for sponsoring this video. I'll share a little bit more about them later, but I'm excited to share my first stop which is Home Depot. And don't forget, I'll share my haul at the end of the video. And we'll see if I manage to stay in my $20 budget. I am at my first stop, which is Home Depot, and I am very curious to see what plants they have. They also have a lot of plants inside. Um, so I think I'll just start out here first. They have beautiful hydrangeas. Um, I don't know if they're all one kind. Look at all the different colors. Beautiful. We have one in our backyard um, and it's a white variety. <clears throat> I don't know much about hydrangeas or hydrangea care so feel free to share in the comments. And we have some beautiful orchids. I've been seeing some fun orchids coming out with it coming into Easter um and springtime orchids are definitely a popular plant this time of year and then there's croton and dracaena and yeah they have a little ponytail palm this one is 29.99 for the ponytail palm you see here all the birds chirping i love it they have a beautiful spider plant up here it's 16 dollars and this is a really beautiful hartley philodendron 12 12.98 that's insane this looks like a tradescantia nanuke it has that super super vibrant purple color 16.98 and golden pothos a bunch of different golden pothos they're all 16.98 it's so cute there's birds just hopping around everywhere these are 16.98 for the peace lilies and there's little ficus lorata some Diffenbachia, the Diffenbachia are $16.98. Ponytail Palm, yeah, most of these are $16.98. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. Then we have some snake plants down here at the bottom. Bromeliads, I love, love the purple one. This, I find that's a really unique and uncommon looking bromeliad. It's not an uncommon bromeliad, but I just don't see around that often. Anthurium and some more beautiful bromeliads. Big Dracaena. Wow, look at the size of this rattle snake Calathea. Um, a lot of times when I go plant shopping with people, this is the plant that gets a lot of comments about, oh, look at that plant, that's such a cool plant. And it is, and it's beautiful. And it's one of the easier care Calathea from what I've heard. And this huge one is $29. So you can find them for a good price. Um, so I'd say, you know, that's a safe bet. Now you might get some of the crisping, but less so than other Calathea. Ooh, 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 we have a lipstick plant. It looks like it had some little blooms on there, which is really fun. It doesn't say what kind of lipstick plant, but it's $16.98. I think this one might be a Mona Lisa. It doesn't look like a pink tie because I think the pink tie has rounder leaves but definitely leave in the comments what variety of lipstick plant you think that is because it is a stunner. And then here we have another green heart leaf philodendron. Taking a look over here, some fun Calathea varieties. I like, I don't know if the camera will catch it, but up close, see all the little lines on there? I just think that's such a neat detail. Makoyana, 1998. 
Stramanthi here. I don't know much about Stramanthi. They seem relatively easy care. Feel free to let me know. Um, this is, it looks like a, yep, a Green Princess 1998. This is a Setenthi so Setosa. Some Philodendron Birkin. And this looks like Moonlight. Um, lemon Lime Philodendron over there. And then we have some Ficus. This one's labeled Ficus Belize. And it looks a lot like Ficus Tinicae over here. Then we have, I think this is a Lauderbachiana, but if you look up close, you can kind of see some spider mite damage on that. That's just the thing with alocasia. So what I would do, if I took this plant home, is I would immediately wash off the leaves, I would give it some systemic granules, I'd spray it with some sort of either Jack's Dead Bug Brew or neem or insecticidal soap. Um, you could give it a bath. Some people use like a solution of Dawn dish soap, um, but I would get on it quickly and then once a month treat it. Here's another beautiful Calathea. Oh, look at this huge green princess over there. Also feel free to add if you have any spider mite prevention tips. Here we have some more of the plants growing in the little glass Ball, um, bowls and the first one here is a peace lily this one looks like some sort of f green philodendron now this huge one this is a dracaena and it's in a large size glass bowl these are somewhat newer and they're $29 Ooh, we have some pileas and some phytonias how much of the phytonia $4.98 so so will those will be $4.98 as well and then we have Syngonium, Crotons, some beautiful Alocasia cuculatas, $29.98. I found a variegated one of these this summer, so keep an eye out for those. And I think quite a few people did, which was really cool. Um, yeah, it's always worth keeping an eye out at big box shops and, and checking for some sort of variegation on the plant. Um, because you never know what you'll find. It's always fun to find one. Prismacolor Sun Red Philodendron. Such lovely red leaves. Um, let's see, we have some succulents, string ofs here, string of tears, and elephant bush, and then watch chain back there. And these are all $7.98. This cactus is called a false saguaro, or cardin and it's $24.98. This is an aloe T-Rex. Gosh, look at those spines on that thing. $24.98. And then a variegated elephant, bu elephant bush, $12.98. This one just, I think it's just meant to be an outdoor plant. The elephant bush one. Some huge jade down here. They're absolutely lovely. I think this little succulent is so cute. Looks like a little piece of candy or something. And, oh, look at the living stones down here. They have purple ones and then the green ones back there. They just have the coolest succulents these days. Isn't that it's so neat? Look at that. And look at these. Wow, that one's beautiful. Ooh, look at this one. It's amazing have some more cacti here and then they have the Easter cactus that's come out it's one of the holiday cactus varieties you typically see Thanksgiving Christmas and Easter and they all bloom around the time of the holiday and you can tell the difference by the shape of the leaves and the Easter ones have the smoothest roundest leaves the Christmas and um, Thanksgiving have points on them yeah some nice how much are these I'm about to do a care video on them. $6.98 on tropical um, holiday cactus. So many great little plants. We have an Episcia here. She's so shiny and beautiful. $5.98. Just lovely. You can see this one actually bloomed not long ago. Ivy, Schifflera, waffle plant. This one called Dark Mystery, I think. 
Um, let's see what else. Oh, this one's so cute. Is this an ant plant? It looks like one of the ant plant varieties. It's either a ponytail palm or an ant plant. Um, and the ant plants actually host ants, not in when you're inside, but in their natural habitat. And um, they have a symbiotic relationship with the ants and the plants, and it's really cool. Um, wow, look at these beautiful aloe varieties over here, different star aloe varieties. Um, 11.98. Okay, four for ten dollars. That is such a great deal. They have um, little cute fuzzy bear paws. They have these gorgeous, gorgeous grep to see them. What is this one called? California Sunset. Some more aloe. I love these too. I think they're called like Panda. Maybe. Kalanchoe Tomentosa. I mean, just so many interesting varieties. Here's a Gasteria Little Warty. <laughs> I think that um, these back here are cool. Oh, here's one that's a little bit closer up. What is this one called? Okay. Can't pronounce that. Um, always worth exploring the succulent section. There's so many great plants. Cacti too. They also have these bonsai. Um, I think they're 49 and it's so beautiful. And I just love the pot it's in. Some African violets here. Have some different varieties and aglionema. Some more African violets, bromeliads down there. I've just come inside and they have a lot more of these huge water growing plants. Again, these are 29 and they have sunred philodendron, they have birkin, they have a beautiful adansonii. Um, I love, I actually really love this idea and I have one in the smaller, like, bowls I guess. Um, it's a Syngonium confetti and it's doing really really well and I like that you can see how the roots are doing. You don't have to worry about soil. I mean it's a great option. They have some Birkin here. They have a lemon lime. Um, some more lemon lime down there. They have some Dracaena. Oh yeah here are the little guys. Yeah I have one of these little ones and I think they're 19. Yeah 19.98. Those are pretty cool. They have uh, Calathea. And they have golden pothos over there, or Hawaiian pothos. Pretty cool. Lots of Easter and spring plants, you know, roses. Looks like some gardenia down there on the right. Some Gerber daisies and kalanchoe. Some Asiatic, Asiatic lilies. Um, and then some big majesty palms here. Those are so beautiful. That's another one that's a bit spider mite prone, but they really are stunning. Now a huge thank you to stamps.com for sponsoring this video. After the hype of the new year, we all start to settle into our routines, but for businesses and people who do a lot of mailing and shipping, you've got to keep moving. Stamps.com streamlines all of your mailing and shipping to turbocharge your operational efficiencies. And the stamps.com app is like having the post office in your pocket, so you can always stay on top of things, even if you're always on the go. Postage rates have just increased again. Luckily, Stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry. Now you don't need to take my word for it. Businesses have been trusting Stamps.com for 25 years. You can access USPS and UPS mailing services you need to run your business right from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and printer. They even send you a free scale so you'll have everything you need to get started. Keep your mailing and shipping moving at the speed of your business with stamps.com. Sign up at stamps.com slash plant life for a special offer that includes a four week trial, free postage and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com slash plant life. Okay, looks like we got some plants in stock. Um, goodness. Let's see. Well, some of these are these are all outdoor plants. It's still pretty cold here. Um, in Grand Rapids, so that explains why there's those, but I do see some really cool indoor plants. Wow, there are a bunch. 
All right, let's check it out. These bromeliads are 39 and they're humongous. Look how beautiful they are. There's some little baby bromeliads down there. Um, yeah, peace lily and dracaena. This is a lovely Diffenbachia. Big aglionema here. The aglionema are 29. And let's keep looking here. Oh, we have a lot of little succulents. And I think the tropicals are back there. Oh, look. This is a beautiful Marble Queen Pothos, $20. And then this is a lovely Peperomia, um, I think it's Scandins variegated, $20. And it has the most beautiful heart-shaped leaves. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these at a big box shop before. <gasps> $12.98 for Rickrack Cactus. Epiphyllum Angular, okay. That is insane, and there's four of them. That is really exciting. Then we have the dragon fruit over here, $16. This is a great deal. Wow, that's insane. How cool. Oh, wow. I see some good stuff on clearance. They have this big anthurium, bird's nest anthurium. $10, wow, that's a steal. I'm just all over the place right now because there's so many great plants. Oh my goodness. We have a huge lemon lime maranta and it's $20. I mean, if you're looking for one of these, I'd say some of the most beautiful, largest, healthiest ones I've been seeing are at the big box shops. And look at this massive golden pothos for 20. Over here is some Fitonia. I love that they mix the green and the pink. I think that's really lovely. And these are $7.98. What else? Um, have a little heart leaf and is this Aurelia? I always forget, but I think it's really pretty. Yeah, ball for Aurelia. And that's so nice. I think it's beautiful. And then some Spathophyllum or Peacely. Here's a red Maranta, some Tradescantia. Oh, down here's a bit of Dracaena. And then up here is another absolutely beautiful Marble Queen Pothos. $20. Another one of the Peperomia Scandins variegated. I do have one of those. Okay, I see a like, bunch of exciting ones. I see a Hoya Curtisii, which I'll pull down in a minute. But the first one I wanted to point out is this lipstick plant. Maybe a variegated. This is a variegated lipstick plant, 1617. I will say that the variegated lipstick plants have not had much variegation that I've noticed at the big box shops. I don't know if giving it more light might help with that. Um, wish that can help with variegated plants. Then over there's a rabbit foot fern. They're $16.98, so $17. A strawberry begonia. I'll go back over there to the Hoya Curtisia in a minute. Just wanted to see what else is up here. Huge Tradescantia. Like the plants lately are just looking so healthy. Some ivy, um, $20.98 over here for another, like almost a pure white Marble Queen Pothos. It's so beautiful. This looks like a Hawaiian gold Pothos. If you can see the variegation is just very yellow and golden, um, $20 on that one. And it just seems to, to me have like larger leaves sometimes than the standard golden Pothos. Like this is a regular Pothos, regular golden Pothos. Bird's nest fern and this is a coffee plant, another Balfour Aurelia, Crotons. What else do we have mixed in here? This is like the Galaxy, Milky, Milky Galaxy plant, Ivy, Crotons, Aurelia, Variegated Waffle, Rabbit Foot Fern. I thought that was a caterpillar for a second. Dracaena, Ivy Variegated. Um, I think this is another type of Aurelia. And then this is a Heartleaf Fern. Hartley philodendron, pardon me. Another Aurelia, beautiful Pilea, Hartley fern, Aurelia. Just lovely, good vibes, you know. I heard someone that creates cat content the other day called their content like cozy content or something like that. Or like, and I was like, 
she's like calls herself a cozy creator I'm like that's kind of what I am too just come shop with me let's chill out let's look at plants like you know just enjoy the day nothing but good vibes wow look at all these Ooh, all right, so we have a beautiful Begonia Maculata YDI. This is actually genius, especially for Begonias. It looks like it might be too full up of water, but you want to fill it to water to a certain point. And then it has, I wonder if I can pull it out. It has a nursery pot in here with um, a string, and the string goes down into the water and just keeps the soil, you know, properly enough saturated enough with water to not overwater it but definitely make sure the plant doesn't dry out too much and for a plant like a begonia that is very very helpful to have um, a setup like that i think this is an aglaonema might be a diffenbachia what come on ash oh yeah i uh i got zero points on that one it's definitely a diffenbachia Oop, a little Rex Begonia. And then, oh, we have a Manjula, I believe. Very lush and full. $17. A Pilea Repens. And a beautiful Rex Begonia. Here's a Hoya Curtisii. This is such a cool Hoya. It is difficult, though. Like, if you overwater it or underwater it, it's not happy. Um, but if you can get one like this for $17, it's totally worth it. And then this one here is a beautiful Piscia. I'm seeing the ones in the hanging baskets and I'm also seeing the ones in the small pots. Um, let's see some more escargot begonia. I like the pink stems on them. I think that's really neat. And then a bird's nest fern here. I think that Syngonium up there is nice. It almost looks like it could be a Syngonium batik. Is this a Syngonium batik? Oh my gosh. White butterfly. For a second, I was like, that definitely looks like Syngonium batik, which I'm actually seeing around a lot more. Ooh, some beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. Let's check the price. $27.98. Lovely peace lilies. Some bird's nest ferns and ZZs, these are all around 20. Big Calathea, snake plants there. All right, um, really pretty. Um, oh my gosh, Philodendron Brazil. I blanked there for a minute. Uh, Scandons again. Yeah, or, yeah, Scandons. Then we have the a beautiful green Philodendron. Maybe a green imperial or something like that. Homolonema selby. These are all 22. Uh, Calathea. Bird's nest fern. They have the crocodile fern. Always a fun fern to find. Say that five times fast. Fun fern to find. Fun fern to find. Uh, Dracaena. Um, what else is down here? Croton. This unusual plant. It looks like a Tradescantia or something. Or a ginger plant. I'm not sure. And they have Raphidophora hyi, such a fast growing plant. Absolutely love it. I have it in my living room and it's grown like 20 feet or something. It's crazy. Um, let's see. Everyone that comes over to my house comments on it because <laughs> it's in the middle of my living room. Um, Aglionema. What else? Oh, look, they have Amplisimum. This is such a great um, Epipremnum. It's, I like the long leaves and the silveriness on them and the fact that I had to pay so much for mine and now it's available. It makes me so happy. Baltic Blue, another Pothos. My, I have one of each of these and they're both awesome. This one's probably slightly less sensitive to watering than this one. As in, this one's more drought tolerant, slightly. But they're both great and have grown a ton for me. Um, ponytail palm also a great plant although I have killed these before so but I have one right now it's doing well Ooh, another Hoya curtisii uh, tons of little anthurium it's so pretty calathea this is another one that will do well with the self-watering planters and aglaonema snake plants down there 
Um, you know, you don't want to overwater snake plants, but I mean, I guess they'll do okay in those. I don't know. Um, ZZ plants, little palms, golden pothos, bird's nest fern, and philodendron birkin. So nice. What else? Got some more piscias, money trees. So cool. I love the bonsai, especially these kind. <laughs> I need to get one one day. I'm always finding really great varieties now in these little like pothos hanging pots and they're a fair price. They're 16, 17 dollars and there's like a Cebu blue pothos back there. There's a marble queen here. Um, this looks like an enjoy. And then this one looks like a global green maybe or something like that. An exotica over here, a little skindapsis. So definitely worth taking a look. These are nice. The Dracaena just hanging out in the water. Money trees. Oh, and I saw these the other day too. This is cool. I love this. I think that is so charming. And look, this, this is basically the same idea as the Wiccan grows. So we'll see, we'll see what the feedback is on those. Now these snake plants look like they're an interesting variety. They have so much yellow on them. They're almost orange, they're really pretty. Look at this, is it fan aloe is what it's called? Yeah, fan aloe, 34. Aren't they beautiful? There's a couple of them here and I'm obsessed with it. I want to get one of these, one of the big ones. They're really nice. This um, this one looks blue almost. Wow, that's really pretty. Gosh, look at the orange one. These colors on the succulents are insane. Look at all the little babies. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Puntia subulata crest. That is so cool. I feel like I have one, but mine does not look like that. That is awesome. How much are these? $5.98? Dang, I love it. <laughs> Hard not to scoop that one up. We have some more of the Easter cactus. Look at this nice sized domino cactus too. They always have great cactus lately at the big box shops. Um, oh, they have like lithops. Look how big they are. You get the split, so these are the, maybe one of you out there that's a kind of more of an expert, but this one's called a stone-faced lithop. They kind of look like this. And then they crack open and then this part dies and puts out new. And then sometimes they put out a bloom, but the blooms are always cut off. And then this one back here is also a living stone, but it's a, or it's a split rock, so it's a different type of plant. Although it does look similar. So, I just think they're so neat. Like, look how big they are. Awesome. We got some fun euphorbia here. Wow, look at the variegated corn cob cactus. That fan aloe is amazing. Oh, look at the pigeon just chilling over there. Just, just, bye buddy. Hope you find your dad. Got some more clearance plants. They're usually around 50% off. You can definitely find some killer deals. I always caution though, if you're looking at a clearance plant to really do a thorough check on it, make sure there's not pests and you know, if it doesn't make it, don't worry about it. Keep it quarantined from your other plants for a while. Maybe do some treatment on it when you bring it home. Check the roots. But this anthurium, this bird's nest one, is the best find, I think, of the clearance plants for $10. That's a steal. They have some plants over here on this stand by checkout. And I did notice a few cool ones. They have the alocasia black velvet. This is a stunner. And I'm not sure how much these are. Oh, $14.98. So that's interesting. They have it with snake plants. And I don't know how snake plants do with self-watering pots. So let me know what you guys think about that. Bird's nest fern, Dracaena. We have another bird's nest fern down here. Some 
I think this is a bromeliad or is it dracaena? I don't know why it's confusing me right now. I have a little um, zebra plant and these put out the most beautiful yellow blooms as well. Some cool crotons and a pink syngonium. So beautiful. And then we have some interesting ones kind of up here, some succulents, a little burgundy rubber tree, another zebra plant, some philodendron. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Time for the haul portion of the video. There were so many incredible plants. There were so many wonderful plants. It was hard to choose, but I decided to just go with one plant. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> this was the only one I got and it was $12.98. So I stayed not just even within my budget, I stayed under my budget. And it was tempting. There were a lot of other fabulous plants, but I felt like one was plenty and I couldn't believe I found this amazing Epiphyllum anguliger. It's also known as a zigzag cactus or a fishbone cactus, so different than rickrack cactus. And I don't think I've ever seen one of these at a big box shop before, let alone for $12.98. For so for $13, it has this humongous, beautiful plant. That is just a steal. I mean, these are usually pretty expensive, even at like local nurseries and stuff. So I was just beyond shocked. And I actually carried it in my book bag with me um, back to Charlotte because um, I was in Michigan because I split my time between Grand Rapids, Michigan and Charlotte. So this was like a great, um, it handled the flight really well. It looks like this one's a little, um, a little wonky, but no broken leaves or anything. I mean, this, this plant is beautiful. Now, I do have quite a few different um, epiphyllum or like orchid cactus varieties. So I've learned that just, I just water them when they're dry. They do appreciate some good light. They can get a little bit of sun stressing, which can be beautiful. You see like the little pink tips here. Just a fabulous plant, so I'll give them some good light. And I am obsessed. Definitely let me know if you think this is a good deal, like what plants you would have picked out if you were shopping with me today. I'm just totally, totally in love with this. And I can't believe I came in not just under budget, but like way under budget for probably the first time ever. Maybe this will help for all those budget videos that I come in over budget. But um, yeah, the budget definitely, definitely helps, especially when you have over 250 houseplants. Um, but I'm really, really happy. So subscribe if you wanna see future videos in your newsfeed. I do post about once or twice a week, usually you know, plant shopping or plant care, that type of thing. And I'm also on TikTok and Instagram as well. So we have a great community on there. Thanks so much for tagging along with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and that I get to see you soon. Bye.